I make crafties, it's Tree. I hope you're having a good and crafty day. I'm here with a project share slash tutorial for Kokoresa Studio dies that I have picked up. Um, I want to thank Kokoresa Studio for allowing me to showcase their products on my channel. I love working with them. They have great products. Uh, they come in a timely manner and they are always packaged well and protected well with a bubble miller. Um, I've not had any problems or delays, so that's really good. I also want to thank each and every one of you for your crafty love and support. And if you have not already, please like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Definitely ring that, um, give me a thumbs up and uh, leave a friendly comment below. So um, I appreciate each and every one of you. We are using today the Cocorosa Studio Heart Frame and there's four pieces. It's the actual heart frame that's like an arrow, and then you get three arrows. One it's a lock, heart and lock, and one's a scribble heart, and one says love. So I really like those really cute designs. And also we're using the heart-shaped gift box, which is this one, the bow, and the ribbon that goes around it. Um, you get these um, hollow love and hearts bookmarks, which is um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and also the lovely word, um, I'm using that one as well and this is what we're going to create isn't it cute is this a little heart pocket and um, I was thinking to put little tiny things in here so you could see the heart behind it but you know what we start crafting and creating and it takes over but anyway I'm going to show you how I did this but first I'm going to show you how I created the things inside so first step is the card and it was created with the heart box I just took cardstock and folded it on one side and um, there's a natural almost straight line right here so I just placed that over there where it would not hit the edge and I just traced over it and hand cut it and then I put my mat over the top and the bow and ribbon on there and then the word lovely and I think a pretty little flower might be cute just going across there that's just me we'll see what happens all right so I also used the uh, here the the bookmarks and I made a shaker uh, this is layered up six times with a 110 pound cardstock because that's just how I do it especially when you get these little tiny lines in here you could just do a frame all the way around the outside and have it free flow but I kind of wanted it to stay in the center of the hearts so um, I did that layering and um, I used Duralar which is the same similar product as acetate for the window there and inside are uh, diamond dots and clear sequins. This is twine that I get one from Crafty Crafts by Dina. Hi, Dina. Um, last year for Valentine's Day. Uh, it's really cute and everything, but the, the metallic twine uh, comes undone. It unravels. So I found, uh, put a knot at the end one end and then tie the bow and then put a knot at the other end and cut it off and you won't have as much problem so there we go my tip for today all right so then I used the little heart arrows and the word love arrows and I just cut them out out of uh, pink of this burgundy color and the gold and 110 pound or 65 weight I can't remember which might be 80 something white on the back <laughs> to give it a little bit of stability um, I knew that it was I wasn't going to decorate it a whole lot it was going to be for the person the recipient to use and um, so I just free drew this uh, oblong really long heart long and skinny heart uh, I covered it in the gold paper as well as gold metallic I used my little tiny punch it's for the mm, bottle caps and I just put it on either side here and use that same twine. This one I did not tie in a knot. As you can see, it's unraveled, but it's still cute. Um, the bookmarks have the word love in one and when they use the heart. So um, I just cut the, use those punch outs. They were staring at me and I put them there. Uh, the cake has these little hearts that punch out. So I just put one of them in there and that's really cute. Um, I made a shaker, because we love a shaker. Um, this is in a vellum, and it's kind of basically a trifold or maybe like a policy envelope, except I didn't fold up or down on either side. Instead, I went to my sewing machine and I just sewed three rows across and three rows across the top. 
And then I used my pinking shears to cut the top so that looks like a candy bag. Oh, I should have used, uh, okay, well, I used this already. But I have um, a cute little um, charm that says sweet and it looks like it has little heart candies in it. I should have used that. I didn't. Maybe the next one. <laughs> this is a paper pad that I just recently got off Amazon and it's uh, loving coffee and uh, it's perfect for coffee lovers. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. It's perfect for any day. But anyway, this is not about that. Um, I put this on some cardstock, made probably 65 pound. My scrap, you know, I don't know what pound it is by the time it's scrap. And I just fussy cut it out and I use the arrow. This one is not backed with anything. It's a little flimsy on the edges, but um, I did, you know, it's the scribble heart. So I found a heart, a contrasting color. So that white um, in my stash. And I didn't care that it was over and not the exact size because again, it's a scribble heart. So really cute. And then lastly, I use the word lovely and it cuts out the word lovely. And then you just take the die and you put it on your paper the back side and you trace over it or if you want to do the front side you flip it over um, I do the back side so that way because I'm tracing with pencil even though I'm gonna erase it I'm not gonna see it if any pencil shows up later it's not gonna be so distracting so I, I put it on the back side and I trace around and then I fussy cut it to get that um, shadow bubble shadow behind it so I've got it in the pink the burgundy and the gold there are three of them in there. So the burgundy, pink, and the gold, and I stand, you know, interchanged those. And now to the meat of the project, which is the heart and arrow frame, the heart frame. I love it, love it, love it, love it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm not, I'm not big at crafting for Valentine's Day, but um, I got into it this year. So hold on, I need a drink of water. All right, so here's my little pocket. Isn't it cute? And again, this is that coffee paper that I got from Amazon. It will be linked in the description box below as well as the dies from Cocorosa Studio. So this is what started my, my little dangle bookmark thing. Um, I thought, oh, it's so cute. And it'd be really cute just dangling here. So I added some uh, beads and charms. And I just made it a little smaller. Unfortunately, I did it after I made the pocket. So I would say if you're going to do this project, punch your hole, maybe even put an eyelet before, you know, like when you got this down, because I had to get like right there. And so a lot of times these two end up inside the pocket instead of where we want to see them. All right, and then we got the word love and all that. And so I'm gonna show you how we managed to get this. Um, I had taken some shortcuts here. So what I did <clears throat> was a little difficult. There was a lot of trial and error. Um, you could take the die and put it on there, maybe trace the inside or the outside. I didn't because, well, I didn't think about that then. What I did was I took the die cut and it only had one piece to it. And I put it on some cardstock. I think this is 80 pound. And I traced around the outer edge of it. And when I got here, I just did the inside here and there and went around here and I tried to get up there and around here. And right here, you have to freehand it. <clears throat> now, you do you, but that's what I did. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the, the, the die cut itself is gonna be flimsy. It's going to wiggle, and um, you're gonna end up getting about as frustrated as I did. <laughs> and um, you're gonna be cutting and fitting and cutting and fitting and cutting and fitting until you get it right. And then the light bulb will go on and we'll say, hey, I should have had that V8, you know? But no, 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 I didn't. So this is the moral of the story. Do as I say, not as I did, maybe. So anyway, so I cut two of those and um, I figured out where I wanted it 
when I did the first one, it was trial and error. Okay, and then the second one, I knew that I wanted the word love down here, like that. And I wanted this little arrow tail to come over here like that. And then this would just be that part. So that took a little finding. But once you find it, just mark it here and then go across to where you want. This one, again, was trial and error, so it's not straight across. It's kind of on a wonky diagonal, but that's okay. It's crafting. It's with love. All right. So then to get the bottom of the box, you're just going to take a strip. And this is like a quarter of an inch here. And then I do a quarter inch on either side. And then you just take your scissors and snip little triangles out here, there, and everywhere. You use your bone folder and you give that a nice little curl. And you take it and you are going to glue it. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to be smart this time. And we're going to take our little quarter inch strip here. And we're going to glue it on. But first I'm going to figure out about... where I want it. So I'm going to say about there. And I could have sworn I brought scissors. And lo and behold, I did not let me reach. This is where I need to be Elastigirl, which I am not. And we're just going to snip those off. If you hear any banging, that's because my neighbor is doing construction work downstairs still. Okay, and now I'm just going to glue the strip on to the, the pocket piece, I guess, the, the, the attached, oh, adapter. I don't know, this, this, this piece, okay? And then I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm back. <laughs> that is glued on there on the outside, and I have a little overhang, so I'm going to snip that off. Although, I have a feeling um, this is not the right length with whatever that that is so um we're now gonna add glue to these little triangles on one side and we're gonna fit them onto this like that and i will be right back okay so when you get to this point where the the l is um i sorry i had a tweezer holding that together up there and it said i'm not gonna hold anymore um I am not going to go all the way down here. I'm going to just go across this way. So now I'm just going to add glue to these tabs. I might be in frame. There we go. And then get it to go up here. So I skipped this whole tail thing. Like I need about two more tabs here, maybe one and a half. I'm just going to snip that off about there. Let me come back and check on these because. I would put it down on your surface, and then if you have a bone folder handy, just kind of press it down that way. Your glue should be good and tacky so that it will hold. Some people will use um, hot glue. There we go. And guess what? We got to do it to the back side too. I think what I'm going to do, though, is add this to, maybe not. I'm going to add the glue to this first and then figure out where that's got to actually fit. So normally I don't glue on camera, so if you need to fast forward me or skip over this part to fill... Don't feel bad that you did. Um, I won't feel bad that you did. <laughs> Be like, yeah, skip over me. 
gluing because <sighs> gluing is <clears throat> is usually a very quiet time with me <laughs> so we're going to try to match up this tail part and get these on the side here and get them to tuck in I think I'm in frame and these ones need to be tucked in I got a lot of glue on my fingers here Urgh. All right, so then you can take any shape that you have and make it a pocket. And as you can see, this one has a, um, I don't know, this one has more heart showing, this one has less, and that's just, you know, how crafting goes. Um, we don't really, if we're doing it ourselves, if we had a die that did this, then it would be perfectly even in the same blah, blah, blah. I can also see that I did a dark here and a light there for contrast, and this one I did not. That will be totally up to you how you want to do that. I do like that, that contrast, so you can see both sides of the heart. And we're just going to glue this little strip that is the heart top to the heart top. Imagine that. You know, there's, there's not a whole lot of guesswork here, guys. <laughs> Simple crafting. Only doesn't look it, but it is. Okay, so here we're not going to do these outer loops or that outer loop. So just going to come down here and up there. This is the inner loop. I don't think we were supposed to do that. And that. So that will go like that. I get a nice big glue smear, which I hate. <laughs> right there I just keep trying to dab it with my finger to get up as much glue smear as possible and then the little what is this part called I don't know the tail end of the arrow No, we don't want all that glued. I'm going to remove some of that. Only the inside edge will be glued. The outside edge will be dangling off the project. Oh, and once again, listen to Tree's words, but don't do what she does because I did not punch a hole for a dangle. Imagine that. All right, so I already have a card that fits with that one. And that's about all I have that fits with that one. So um, that is my project. I hope that you like it. Um, just remember, it's not limited to a heart frame or a frame at all. It could be for any kind of um, die that you have that is a shape. And um, you can come up with any kind of, you know, like if you had a solid heart, you could maybe, if you had a stacking heart, so you could just put another one inside to create the frame, or you could free cut it yourself that's up to you. Um, uh, this is just showing you that I did cut off that part of the heart. So, all right, that this is where I'm going to end today. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you who are still here with me, um, and I will catch you in my next video. Until then, God bless you and yours. Bye for now.